blessings beloved hmm so late friday live sometimes there's not enough time to go out and do a live <laughs> the internet is not good where you are and um suddenly a window appears and the guides are like go live so blessings to all of you that are still awake in these powerful energies last night i didn't sleep anything at all almost it was like huge kundalini waves huge kundalini activations in the entire spine so before we start this transmission before you start making a decision to listen now or come back later let's take a couple of deep breaths and through your breath really connect to your heart to your center into your soul into your higher self and ask yourself if this is the right time and space for you to receive this transmission if it is a yes please stay so a call to action from our soul right now a call to action from our soul we had enough so we had enough is not from the old place we have been there before where we felt like I had it but this time we feel that we had enough from a more peaceful state and in a state of divine power that's the difference so we don't feel that oh, I mean had enough from anger because that energy creates contraction now it's more like relaxed in peace very grounded with very clear boundaries and we're like i had it so you know i've been going on and on and on about the need and the call for freedom you know we cannot keep awakening we cannot keep activating and upgrading our light body without <laughs> our actually personality in merge with a higher self without them needing and wanting to set yourself free more and more so when we start to awaken and we see how they have tricked us into feeling that oh this is good enough this is safe oh i'm so lucky that i'm in this country and we are free because we're not chased no no wake up and we keep awakening and we're awakening and awakening together and we're noticing that oh my god you know i'm tricked you know here i am and in the outer i'm not free of course we have reached a state inside of us where we feel sovereign and free and connected to god that's massive but in the outer now we are noticing where we actually still are plugged in to the controllers programming the illusion the matrix and i promise you it's not until we have cut all of that that we will feel free but the amazing thing is that you know as we are doing our individual work and we take small little steps in whatever way you you're gonna get guided very very strongly in april to make small changes where you're gonna make make yourself feel more free it can be you know anything from relationships but how you pay what you pay what you engage to what you eat and so on and so on like I know we've been doing this but it's gonna come into your space on a completely new level so you're gonna be like oh my god I can actually choose this and not choose this choose this and stop this so this is gonna come in like massively like really and especially if you want to clear the poverty consciousness and you're on track with that work with me but in the outer field the there's massive massive light light workers systems unified fields that are assisting in collapsing the systems because the controllers cannot keep going anymore we are too many that have awakened we are too many that remember and it's not about remembering your past lifetimes that is not 
even important anymore. You know, the things that we were going on and on and on about for years before, about our past lives and here and there, all of those things, that is not important anymore because we are at that critical part and point on earth right now. What, where, what we do here now is what will make the liberation of this planet and set us free in all timelines and past and future. So, you know, all this, it has its time, right? All this like going back to timelines and checking and sometimes that comes in but now we just know that we are this incredible soul, multidimensional soul that has been existing for eons of lifetimes. And what we do right now here is that what makes the change, right? So I, I don't know if I've shared this before, but I actually remember I came in contact with a lifetime where I was caged and prisoned because I was speaking my truth. Like lately, I really also dare to speak more about the darkness and the controllers like on a new level. This is how it all is for all of us, right? We all dare to speak more and more because we are clearing more and more of those timelines where we were persecuted and all of those things. But as that is being cleared, I saw this timeline where I was caged and prisoned because I was speaking my truth. But in that timeline, I was feeling so free, even if I was caged. Because I was speaking my truth, it didn't matter. I had nothing to lose, really, because I was connected to God. And I knew I was serving. I was serving God. I felt fully connected and protected by God. And I was in so much peace. So what does it cost you and me? to not be able to be fully honest when we go to work, when we meet people, when we are everywhere. It costs us too much energy to not be who we are. It costs us so many years, so many sessions to start to remember and then we go out of the door and need to pretend that we are like, you know, someone asleep. No. so. What is all these little things that you now are seeing? Like, oh, I need to be sovereign. Because, you know, the poverty consciousness is not only about financial fear. It's about that deep, deep, deep sense that we are not safe, fully safe individually and personally safe and secure. If we would feel 100% safe and secure, we would go out there and be all that we are right? We wouldn't be scared to be prisoned, persecuted. I mean, let's just all the parents here that are forced to have their children into the school where they, we just know that they're being brainwashed. But still, you know, if we take them out of school, we go into prison. Like, okay. I mean, that's becoming unbearable. It's becoming unbearable. Like doing all this work at home and then sending them to these brainwashing places. I mean, so we have this critical pinnacle now where it can feel like I'm gonna explode, you know? Things just needs to change. And April is the year, uh, the month of change. And you will see that you will make changes. It's like bam, 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 bam. And it's like, I have this facilitator training in Glastonbury next month. And it's the same thing there, you know, when you decide the moment you decide to go out there and serve in any way, do your mission, it's so important that we get to notice when the Antichrist forces manage to come into our field. The Antichrist forces is like your anti-you energy. You know by now, and we need to remember this, God gave us a brain to use. So we need to remember that we are one. No one is higher or lower than me or you. We are all equal, okay? So therefore, I cannot fail. I can only try and I cannot fail as long as I am honest and authentic. So we need to say no to participate in any of that antichrist forces voices that we allow coming into our field and the faster we're noticing this happen 
the faster we're clearing and then we become stronger and we become unstoppable. So for an example, when energy comes in of self-judgment towards yourself, you know, and like, who am I? Who am I to think that I will be able to hold space or assist in healing or anything like that? It's like, stop it. In that moment, when the, all these emotions come in, that's because they manage to stream in any way, maybe through your house of ego or through the sacral chakra with your wounds or whatever. You know, maybe there's an implant in anywhere in your, in your light body. So the moment they manage to stream this in, that's when you start to think these things about yourself. Or we're looking at someone else and we start to judge them. So that's when we need to come back and like, oof, okay, unity consciousness, oneness, clearing antichrist forces in any way, emotional, mental, spiritual. That's the clearing we need. I mean, I can go to 10,000 healers, you can go to 10,000 healers, but the moment you're not in that session, you, who are you then, right? So 10 years ago, 20 years ago, even still now, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear this, but you know, running week after week to someone for sessions, you know, no, we are past that. You are going to need to be your own healer. Of course, we can go to webinars or trainings to get inspired and upgraded, but it's all about you, you, what you do right here now, what you commit to. So every day committing to be authentic when, you know, the other day I shared this post because suddenly it was a long time ago, I, I started to judge myself feeling fat, wrinkly and all these things. And I was like, oh my God, what is this? You know, and people were like, poor you, Mia, poor you. I was like, no, 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 no more sorry. Don't feel sorry for me. You know, this is just like, wow, okay. How this, how did this come into my field? because I'm so committed to my, to, my, um, to my energy management. But with diving deep into very deep layers, and you know, when we go out here, like I go out here and talk, and yeah, I'm getting attacked really massively. And at any moment, if I don't receive as much as I give out, I'm in a weak point, and that's when they attack. So also, you know, keeping our energy levels balanced is so important. And this is something I work with all the time because you know how I am. I just want to give and share and share all my insights. And that's why actually many times I'm being asked to just go away from home, fly away, take, you know, some vacation or go and work abroad, get some energy, receive some, because you need to have your balance here. Because the moment you feel depleted, the moment I feel depleted, whew, that's when I'm like, oh shit, okay, I cannot take anymore. Like, take me, you know, I'm ready to check out. So the energy levels, taking care of our energy levels are so important as we're moving into a very important month. Like these weeks coming up now are so important and the poverty consciousness clearing that is like in three weeks you know is really just blushing up and we might think that we know what poverty consciousness is but i need to say that there's so many levels to it so another thing that is going to come up on a completely new level is this thing still again like why am i not doing my mission like I need to work, I need to do mission. So I had this, this this week, right? So I'm away 10 days with my son as guided. I'm initiating him because he's coming, he's completing his school now, he's graduating and he's gonna move out from the home. So I really wanted to initiate him and have enough time and talk to him about this shifting period that is coming for him and, and kind of just have enough time talking, right? And the days was, was passing and we were doing a lot of things. And in my back of my mind, I heard, you know, you need to work. You need to create content. You need to work on your course, la, 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 la. And, and then I was sitting with it and my, my higher self and God was like, this is doing mission. Being here with your son, initiating him, working with all of your gifts that you have and passing it over 
assisting him to go to a higher level and think about you know what to choose now what is more important than that right and we're all doing this all the time but every now and then we get like going into these old traps of thinking that it's only when we work that we do mission and oh my god you that have been following me have talked about this for so long but i just say that all that we know just keeps coming into deeper layers deeper layers deeper layers and and it takes time for us to really feel what sovereignty is to really feel what freedom is to really feel what being the mission is and from that point just releasing and clearing program after program and whenever they try to attack witnessing state clearing using the brain to reprogram right going into the energetic embodiment by feeling it and it's the same thing with god right my son said to me okay i i i believe in god so finally it's night thing he, he believes in god but then he told me like but you say that you are god so how can you be god and it's so hard for me to explain god because it's my relationship to god and i cannot explain it i just feel god i feel god and i feel like we are i'm a cell of eternal living light and you are a cell of eternal living light and we are all these cells in god's body in the godhead we all are all cells of the eternal living light in god's body so we are all god but he was like you are not god <laughs> so it's so interesting to have all these conversations and i just feel that you know we came down here as a soul with a body with a certain instruction set okay so one thing is our soul but then we got this body with a set of instructions and this set of instructions is the karmic lessons we have decided to undergo so okay i have so much pain in my bones because there's so much dark matter that is being cleared of eons of lifetimes like really i know i'm clearing for the collective i know i'm clearing for the divine feminine from my ancestor and from my lineage to come i clear like really so working like in the future timeline so all of this is happening but the instruction set that i was given is not always very pleasant right but i need to trust and believe in it and through connecting with my soul and my higher self i can more honor and understand and trust and surrender into the structures instruction set of this body and this body is changing all the time <laughs> sometimes it needs more grounding and needs more food and heaviness and it's like okay and sometimes it needs to be more light and we needs less food so it's really like okay like all these lifetimes in Acturius I didn't need to eat like I have most lifetimes there so the whole thing with like eating and stuff is so intense and that's where they get us to right so if we go out and start to buy in crappy food that has full of implants and shit in BAM they take us BAM we're down and we start to judge the body the mind starts to loop and we're distracted and we're out of alignment so all of this is being so freaking amplified right now and i don't know if i make any sense at all but we need to believe <laughs> that this transformation is really really happening for us for the planet because i do believe that all of you can see the massive awakening that is happening systems are collapsing people are awakening and those that are not awakening they're not feeling well at all 
and we need to believe in transformation and I do believe in transformation even in the dark forces that are here on earth I I must believe that many of them they will come to a point where they will be asked to return back to the light they will be given a choice to return back to the eternal living light because many of them are also very lost so the more of us that connect to the light to the eternal living light we will be able to be this transit exit point for many of those that have lost their soul into the darkness and they cannot find the light so what we are seeing now is this pinnacle point once that is over we will actually be able to assist you know very very lost souls over to the light that's what I truly believe and I get shivers when I'm saying this okay so let's um, let's see what wants to come through here beloved let's take a couple of breaths take a couple of breaths and just allow yourself to connect deeper into your heart as we really ask the space to be fully protected and connected by the eternal living light code of God we ask only for what is in the highest divine order for each and every one to come in and come through closing all negative portals and inorganic artificial timelines so there's so many dragon golden rings that are coming into the field and they stand for transformation transformation of anything that is inorganic antichrist energy into Christ golden consciousness okay so the dragon starts to breathe the dragon breath straight into your brain so as you're taking deeper breath, you can allow the breath to move into your brain. So your brain is working on overload. <clears throat> so they are assisting right now to clear old ways of using the brain. So feel and set an intention to expand your brain, create space and room like you're opening many windows in your brain for more Christed light to come through. The presence of Jeshua is here and you can feel how this Christ consciousness energy is really expanding into the brain it is like this golden sun is expanding from the center point of your brain and out creating space peace but yet sharp and focused and relaxed okay now connect to your heart so the team asks you to really think about your core values. What are your core values? Like choose one or two, maybe three main core values or virtues, godly virtues of yours. Just really feel, sense and connect to them. Maybe you see them as sentences or they present themselves like symbols and you just know who they are and now you start to breathe them up from your heart up to your brain connecting your two three main virtues up to your brain and allow your brain to record them these values and virtues so when you come out of emotional and mental and physical when you come out of alignment that your brain can assist you in connection with the heart 
to help you remember your values. Like for an instance, knowing that we are all one, that there's no separation and that no one is better or less than the other. And that I believe in unconditional love to all that is holding very loving boundaries. This is an example. And now allowing the dragons to assist to really breathe in even more Christ consciousness and the spirits of Christ activating your two, three main values in your brain into your central nervous system. So now whenever any outer energies tries to impact you, to start to mind loop in judgmental thoughts, towards yourself or any other, you will be able to use this core value system that is imprinted from your heart up to your brain. You might see a lot of beautiful sacred geometry coming in, like this is being recorded, third eye, heart and out to your entire light body. Breathe this in. Feel that you can relax your brain. You don't need to think. You actually just need to use your heart to activate this in your brain. This is all now being recorded and you can keep practicing this daily. Whenever you have space and you will notice that this will be a strong reprogramming and this will assist you to move into stronger alignment. We close, we seal this work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. Breathe. Mm, beautiful, guys. That was kind of advanced. It requires some focus and connection with the heart and third eye. I don't know how you felt it, but this was really powerful. They haven't showed me something like this before. So this kind of practice you could actually bring into your daily morning meditation. And this is a strong reprogramming of your nervous, your central nervous system and can really make us Stay sharp, focused and alert and more, you know, sovereign and unstoppable for all these controller energies and all the Antichrist forces that tries to stop us. They will never manage, but the more we can strengthen our energetic field and our truth and our freedom, the more we can assist and the more we can enjoy and the more we can start to create that new earth that we came here to do. And instead of just clearing, clearing, clear, clearing, we can actually spend more time in creating, creating, creating. So thank you, beloveds. <laughs> thank you for joining me on this la late, late, late Friday live. I love you. I honor you. I will put in the link for the poverty consciousness. Way the biggest, most important webinar ever so if you can come and contribute to that work if you feel in alignment please do it's so important now thank you thank you thank you Mwah. blessings